Well, we've had a long and productive discussion on a number of fronts, including Ukraine, as you'd expect, the Middle East and the Indo-Pacific. Um, talking strategically about tactical decisions, this isn't about a particular decision and we'll obviously pick up again in Unger in just uh, a few days' time with a wider group of individuals. But this was a really important invitation from the President to have this level of discussion about those critical issues. But with President Putin threatening war with NATO, aren't you creating the impression that he's intimidating you? Well, there's only one reason we're having these discussions, and that is because Putin has illegally invaded Ukraine. Um, and uh, the quickest way to resolve this, obviously, uh, lies through uh, you know, what Putin actually uh, does, because it's for him to end this. Um, but we are having the discussion. We've stood with Ukraine. Ukraine has a right to self-defense. Um, and we've stood united, not just with our allies here in the US, but um, across with our NATO allies. That's very, very important to us. But today was about having the chance to talk not just about a particular step or tactic, but the strategy in relation to Ukraine. But also we cover the Middle East in some extensive detail um, and other areas across the world. So it was a really important occasion for us to have this chance to discuss with our allies. We've got another chance uh, a week after next in Unger, and we'll take that as well.